This is the lunar control at T minus 50 minutes and counting. Commence loading of passengers requiring special boarding assistance. No frills, charter seven, nine, or four. You have clearance to deep plane passengers. Over. We read you, control. Over. We have clearance to deep plane. Excuse me, sir. Would you like to make a contribution to the heart charity? Sure, why not? There you go. How's that for something? Thank you. Oh, my God, this is a thousand dollar. this for? It's our last few bucks. Take it. You'll need a hot meal when you get there. Is it really worth it? We're down to our last dollar on these operations. It's worth it to us, Joey. We haven't made love in five years. Dr. Wasserman says that this hospital in Des Moines is the best sex clinic in the whole country. If they can't solve your problem, nobody can. Maybe I don't need an operation. Maybe I can solve my own problem. Joey, it's not just your problem. It's our problem. Can't we think it over? Maybe it's just nerves. Nerves? Joey, this problem is ruining your life. First you got in that terrible fight with Buzz Wicks at Keeble roofing over that remark he made. And then, Filch Waste Disposal fired you because you punched Sid Gertz. And after that, you pushed Fred Mulch down the stairs at Blitz Brothers. And all because of your nerves? How long can it go on, Joey? How many fights? How many jobs? All right, one last operation, but it's hopeless. You'd be far better off with a real man. Joey, you're the only man in my life. Now, you better get going. We don't want you to miss that flight. Here. What's this? It's just flight insurance. Everybody buys it. Joey! Now, when you land in Des Moines, you call me, okay? Everything's gonna be just fine. This is Delta Satellite Control. We have a condition green. I repeat, we have a condition green. This condition is not that bad. Take these pills. Here's some water. What is it, doctor? Two parts hydrogen, one part oxygen. Makes the pills go down easier. Excuse me, would you like something to read, sir? Well, I don't read a whole lot, huh? What do you got? Modern electronics, time, business week, the Talmud, the 24-volume dissertation on Jewish law. Let me try that Talmud. All right. And you, sir? Uh, modern electronics, be fine. Want to switch when we're finished? You can have it. I need to get some oxygen. <clears throat> what was that? Well, that's the intercom, sir. Oh, right, right. It's Captain, over, over. 
Yes, this is Testa. Would you fellas like a little breakfast, Captain? Over, over. Yeah, hey, some steak and eggs would be nice, Testa. Anybody else want a bite? Yeah, steak and eggs is fine with me. Now, make that too. Elaine? No, thank you. Uh, make that steak and eggs for three, Testa. Can I get my eggs poached? Over. Poached and over, Captain? Over? Over. No, just poached on toast. Over. I don't think we do poached eggs on toast. Over, Captain? Over. Over. I just want them poached. Over. You're the captain, sir. Poached and over, Captain Over. Any preference on your steak? Over. Just a bit underdone. Sir? There's nothing to worry about. Could you hand me your cup, please? Thank you. Now be careful, but it's very hot, okay? Thank you. And, stewardess, would you please tell my wife that these flights are completely safe? I think she'd like to hear it from you. Oh, there's nothing to worry about. Just one moment, please. It's for Mr. McCroskey. Do you think we should bother him? He has been acting a bit odd lately. He's fine. He just thinks he's Lloyd Bridges. <laughs> I'm running out of air. The phone's for you, Mr. McCroskey. Huh? Here, let me help you. I think it's the Space Center. Space Center? Now, let's not get too excited. Hear that, Space Center? What? What? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll be right down. Hmm. Looks like I picked the wrong time to go see Nile. Come in, Mayflower. Mayflower, come in over. What's happening? I don't know. We can't pick them up, sir. Let me try it. Right. Come in, Mayflower, over. Come in, Mayflower, over. Come in, Mayflower, over. Don't read me. Let me try, sir. Come in, Mayflower, over. Come in, over. Damn it. Come in, Mayflower, over. Let me, let me try, sir. Dad, it's like a furnace. Oh, my God. I'm afraid we're closer to the sun than I estimated. much longer we can take the heat. The passengers are dropping like flies. It's got 8,000 square feet and the parking is great. And a 20-year lease with option to buy. How could you lose, Al? It's in Montebello. You could lose. Those will be the biggest story of the year. Yeah, keep your fingers crossed. Wait a minute, I never forget a face. Texas doctor claims sex with chicken cures baldness, right? Amputee's limbs grow back after man finds Christ? Long time, time no see. see. How are you doing? So you're on this flight, huh? One charge. Give it to me straight. How much damage can that bomb do? How much damage can that bomb do? Now listen, if he blasts here in the cabin, yeah. and the fuselage doesn't give way here, mm -hmm. and the main communication lines to the cockpit hold here, and this baby here doesn't jam up this little unit here, and throw about two tons of steel through here like a hot knife through butter, and the upper and lower... What's your point, Sarge? I have no point. Like we're running out of time. Have you got that bomb yet? Over. I don't know. I don't know. Dad, what happened? Take this away. What is it? The bomb. The bomb? No, the bomb. Have you got that bomb? Damn it, have you got that bomb? Roger, control. We've got the bomb. He's 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 got the bomb. Isn't it exciting? This is just like an election in Iran. Give me the President of the United States. Tell him it's the Commissioner. I don't know how the old man's gonna take this. One for the NAACP, Mr. President. And one more. Thank you. That would be your secretary, sir. Yes. Houston calling Mr. President on line four, sir. Thank you, Penny. Frank, better go.
go split screen. The truth of the matter, sir, is that I uh, don't think that shuttle is going to make it. <laughs> oh, damn it, mister. The dignity and uh, integrity of the presidency depends on the success of that mission. Now, I don't want to hear from you again until that uh, thing is safely on the moon. Simon, wait, what are you doing? I've lost my ship and now I've lost you, Elaine. I'm getting off. Simon, I didn't want it to end like this. We can be friends. We can, we can meet for lunch or after work for a drink. I, I mean, I know now that Ted and I were always meant for each other, and, and you'll meet somebody, and, and then we could all double date. Elaine, I don't think you understand. Well, maybe doubling isn't such a good idea, but I... Simon, wait, but you'll die out there. Maybe. Well, what are you trying to say? What I'm saying, sweetheart, is I don't think I can hack the single scene again. Simon, no! <laughs> 